Hello, my name is John Sullins, and I'm making this video for any of the 75 million people who are Lee Child and Jack Reacher fans who, if you're like me, have read them all, and you can't wait for the next one to come out. Uh, I'm offering a, a little bit of a substitute for you in that uh, I have written a series of books similar to the Reacher stories. Presently, I have 21 listed on Amazon as Kindle books, and they're all listed right now for um, 99 cents. I'm also giving away one each weekend uh, of the first 10, just uh, trying to get some of you folks uh, interested in my series. So if you can't wait for the next Reacher book to come out, you might want to take a look at them. Let me explain a little bit about my series to see if you might be interested. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you how you might be able to make make a little bit of money with me on this series. But um, in my first book, the series starts out with a book called Remembering the Beginning. And in that book, an elder, elderly grandfather who lives on a lake house in Maine goes to the woods to bow hunt but never returns. And uh, can't find him, winter sets in, searches uh, made by the police are all ended. Well, in the spring, uh, when college uh, school year ends, several of uh, the grandfather's college-age grandchildren go to Maine to his lake house to settle the estate and, and move on with their lives. But one of the grandsons, a young man named Brad, uh, just can't accept the fact that his grandfather was never found. And he begins a um, intensive uh, search himself um, using some very unusual and unique methods to search the woods. And um, after his... Um, siblings and cousins uh, give up the search themselves and go home. He stays on alone and uh, with the aid of a young female sheriff's deputy named Sue, who ultimately becomes the main character in these books, um, they search the woods themselves. And what they find and how they find what they find is um, really unique. It's interesting and some have described it as, as um, inspirational. But uh, that's basically how the series starts. And so far, it's not like Reacher, but this is just a setup for how, for how the story develops. In the second book, Sue and Brad are married, and Sue is on the sheriff's office and is, is put in charge of an investigation uh, into the death of her boss, the sheriff, who was hit by a hit-and-run driver. Well, the entire second book is about that investigation and how she ultimately becomes sheriff. But the third book, Butterfinger, is where the series begins to change uh, into something similar to uh, Jack Reacher uh, series. There's a um, person on the lake where they live who um, doesn't like the disturbance and the loud noise and so on of the personal watercraft and jet skis, and he starts shooting at people. Well, Sue, of course, being sheriff, she investigates the case and... Um, Ultimately, she makes uh, some bad judgment and uh, uh, some mistakes are made and some very important or people that are close to her die. And uh, she uh, is feeling tremendous guilt and depression because of the uh, mistakes that she made and her guilt and ultimately resigns as sheriff. Um, and as a way to deal with her um, anxiety and depression, she begins her own manhunt across uh, several states to track down the man who was responsible for ruining her life. And what she does <laughs> does to the man when she catches him is a um, little different than you've probably read in other books and, uh, and seeking her revenge. And uh, I'll just say that um, um, she doesn't need a judge uh, to take care of the situation because she handles it. And this is... Uh, how this story metamorphoses into the Jack Reacher, the loner on the road, because she um, uses future cases like this to help her fight her depression, in that she uh, reads stories on the internet and watches the news, and if she reads something that looks like justice is not being served, she goes to wherever it is in the country to uh, deliver the justice. An example being if she was to see uh, the O.J. Simpson case where... Um, he was found not guilty for what a lot of people believe he did. Uh, she was not, she would not be able to handle it and she would go take care of it herself. And in any case, uh, I've tried to select a lot of uh, the storylines for my books on that similar um, 
thought that uh, I look at the internet for stories of bad guys getting away with things and I look at the news, watch the news and I see things and then I expand the facts uh, uh, beyond what really happened but use those basic uh, storylines for my books. An example, uh, not long ago a, a school teacher uh, out west Montana, North Dakota, assaulted one of his young female students and was arrested, put in jail, but uh, for a mistake by a judge, um, he was let out. Ultimately, in my book, he did it again and uh, still was not convicted. Well, Sue reads about that case and can't handle seeing that guy get away with it, so she travels out west, tracks him down to where he's living as a hermit on a on a mountain on a mountain cabin to stay away from people and um, she uh, was able to sneak into his house and fix it so that he could not um, bother or hurt anyone again and that's what she does she goes from case to case like that around the country uh, delivering her own form of justice now uh, I'm not trying to say that um, uh, I have the writing skills of Lee Child who was probably the best out there in my opinion but my books are shorter than his because I don't have those uh, talents to write all the minute details. But in one regard, it might be helpful to you because uh, my books might be considered uh, the abridged version of what a Reacher book would be in a lot less words. Uh, uh, maybe uh, could be described as a little easier to read and uh, a fast read. So if you're looking for something to fill the gaps between the Reacher books, you might want to take a look at my series. It's called The Right Thing Series. It's listed on Amazon as Kindle Books, 99 cents right now. And um, I also, as I said, I'm giving away one book every weekend free of the first 10. I alternate them just to get you interested. Now, um, another issue is that I want to make these books into um, audio books, and I'm looking for someone with a pleasant voice, much better than mine, uh, to read these books aloud and to help me develop into audio books, and we can share the profits on them. If you have a voice, uh, I haven't made up my mind whether it needs to be a man or a woman. The main character is a woman, but if the right uh, person, uh, somebody as good as Dick Hill, who reads the Reacher books, would be outstanding, but I guess there's only one Dick Hill, too. But in any case, uh, you can do a search for the books on uh, Amazon by doing an advanced search for author John Sullins, J-O-H-N-S-U-L-L-I-N-S. Uh, you can also look at my website, therightthingsseries.com, and there's no spaces in there. It's T-H-E-R-I-G-H-T T-H-I-N-G-S-E-R-I-E-S dot C-O-M. No spaces. And um, if you're interested in helping with these audio books, just send me an email on that website. And as I said, all my books are listed on that website. You, you click on the picture of the, the book cover and it'll take you to Amazon. You can order them if you want, 99 cents. Um, and uh, this might be a way to help you uh, feed your reacher habit when there is no reacher, hab uh, reacher books to read right now or between books. And take a look at the therightthingsseries.com. And I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Thanks.